Hey guys, today I want to talk about something a little bit different. It's not social media specific, but I do think that it's a topic that comes up a lot in business uh, for us business owners, and I think it's important to talk about how to deal with it, and that is how do you deal with competition and with the haters out there that are trying to stifle your creativity, your, your momentum, and just, you know, really trying to um, hurt your business, which is not cool. Um, so this is something that's come into my life this week. Unfortunately, I've had somebody out there that I used to work for who is um, basically saying things about me that it's just not true, first of all, and, and not nice. Um, and also telling other people not to use my services or refer me because blah, 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 blah. I don't know why. Anyways, so I've had to deal with this, and it's unfortunate, and it's not, you know, something that I like to deal with, obviously, but I've had a couple different options on how I could deal with it, and so I've kind of documented and journaled how I've chosen to handle this and how I think that you could potentially choose to handle this in your life and business when it comes up. And for me, it's been kind of nice and therapeutic to go through this and kind of come up with a system for for kind of just dealing with the haters. So I'm going to tell you my top five tips on what I think you can do when this happens and how you can just take the high road. So tip number one is take it as a compliment. So at first I was kind of pissed about it because I'm like, what? This person's out there like I, I did good work for them and um, they're out there, you know, just talking about me and they don't even know what I'm trying to do or, or what I'm doing or accusing me of things that are, are rude. But then I thought about it and I'm like, Hmm, this is interesting. I haven't worked or talked to this person in months, and they're still talking about me. So to me, I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of weird, but also, you know, kind of cool. Like, I, I'm going to take it as a compliment because maybe I'm a bigger deal than I actually thought I was if you still feel the need to bring my name up in conversations. So maybe it's not a bad thing. Um, my next tip is to embrace the competition. One of my new friends, Heather Roxburgh. Hi, Heather, if you're watching. Um, I met her recently for lunch, and she shared a tip with me that really kind of hit home, and I didn't probably tell her at the time. Um, I had to process it, but she said that she doesn't shut out the competition um, and just cut them off and not get to know them or not embrace them. She really does try to find out creative ways to work with her competition so that everybody can benefit and everyone can grow their business. And she was letting me know that she kind of leads her organization. She's a very successful real estate brokerage, but she leads from a place where she's like, I know that there's enough business out there. I don't need to try to take it away from somebody else. She's like, I have great relationships. That's how I do business. I work by referral. I have made it a point to, you know, foster these great relationships and become a hub of my business so people aren't going to just like leave me and go work with someone else like you know I'm confident in myself and my business and I've used it as a platform to help others and in return um, by giving it out it's all come back to her um, so that's just something important to remember you know take the high road you don't I think it's important to get to know your competition to evaluate the competition so you know where you stand and what you're offering and how you compare um, but you don't need to obsess over it and you definitely don't need to belittle other people because there's room at the top for all of us. Um, my next tip is from the gorgeous Selena Gomez and it is kill him with kindness, kill him with kindness, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead now. Okay, that's the um, extent of the singing you're going to get from me. But the point is to kill them with kindness. Take the high road. Don't stoop to their level. Um, I just think we could all benefit from being kinder to each other and to bringing more, you know, love into the business world and not being um, a person that, like I said, wants to shut someone else out. And it's just, it's not cool to burn bridges. You never know when that's going to come back around. So focus on doing you. Focus on uh, being great at what you do share the love, be encouraging, and, and a person that people come to because they know that you're an encourager and someone who lifts other people up, um, and just and go that route. It's just, it's way better. Uh, next tip is to grow from it. Use it as an opportunity to grow. Um, don't, 
don't get bogged down by the fact that, you know, maybe someone's saying something not cool about you. I, I know it's hurtful. I know firsthand it's hurtful. Um, but use it as an opportunity to look and kind of evaluate, well, how could I have maybe done this differently so that I wouldn't be in this position? And also look at it as an opportunity to learn and say, okay, this is the type of person I don't want to be. So it kind of allows you to kind of check yourself in a way, um, which, which is always great to do. My last tip is to keep winning because again, if they're talking about you, if they're feeling the need to say bad things about you or try to hurt your business, it's because you're doing something right because you're on your way to success or you're already there. Um, people don't try to bring t other people down um, just because, I mean, usually it's because they're, they feel threatened or they're afraid of you. So keep it going, keep winning and keep doing you and um, keep working hard and, and providing value and, you know, doing all the things that you want to do and that you know you should do in your business and you'll be fine. And, um, you know, like I said, everything else doesn't really matter. So I hope you found those tips helpful. I hope you're not dealing with this in your own life, but if you are, um, definitely try to take the high road. Definitely embrace these tips. They've helped me a lot. Um, it's been therapeutic, kind of journaling this all out and kind of working through it. Um, and again, I'm just trying to share the love with all of you in hopes that if you're going through it, that this will bring you a little bit of encouragement. So talk to you guys later. Bye.